Three, two, one, go. All right, all three blue robots on the move. Shockwave has a hatch panel in play. Spins around and places it nicely done during the sandstorm. Well done as they come over to grab another one. 2635, Lake Monsters goes ahead and flies over there to place some cargo in the cargo ship. 2811 also placing cargo in the ship. That cargo ship is already filling up fast. 2374 going right for the nose of the red cargo ship and places a hatch panel right there. And now grabs some cargo to go fill up that slot in the cargo ship. Shockwave with that turret spins around, lines up, and places that hatch panel just like that. And now comes over to grab another one. Lake Monsters has some cargo going for the rocket. Places the cargo right in the lower portion of the far rocket. 2811, its teammate also has some cargo to place in the near side rocket. 2374 looking to fill up part of its cargo ship and does. Coming to grab some more. Holds on to it, gonna place it right in the front of their red cargo ship. And does, is successful. Blue, a commanding lead of 54 to 28. With less than 30 seconds left, all three blue robots already on the hab. 28-11 going to the third level, 26-35 on the second level. No red robots on their hab yet. Take 10 seconds to go. Blue looks like they're finished with what they're doing in their end game. Red, three, two, one, and they get on their hab. All three red robots on the lower portion. Probably not enough for the win, but we'll let the refs calculate that and we'll get you the final score in just a minute. Here's the final score for that last match, number 30. It looks like it's the Blue Alliance with a score of 78. Not quite enough to get to our high score of 105 to, or 104 today, but still a high score nevertheless. Three ranking the points as we move on to qualification match number 31.